गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम डी एस सी आई एट लंडन एंड वी आर हेयर विद समबडी हु एब्सिल्यूट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड यू नो द इंडियन फुटप्रिंट इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग वी गॉट ऑल डेलीगेशन वी गॉट द हैवी बिग विग्स ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री द पी एस यू इज हेयर and sitting with me at this moment is mr ravi kant who is the cmd of the munitions india limited an offshoot of the erstwhile ordnance factory board welcome sir to adu's chat room we always uh, it's always been a pleasure speaking with you thank you ma'am and uh, today we are here at london meeting here we like to just understand from you for munitions india what is the market in europe which attracts such a big pavilion and uh, you have also been in and out of meetings all throughout is it a huge market thank you very much ma'am uh, see now it is uh, munitions india limited has completed almost 23 months since inception and uh, when the company was uh, formed carved out of uh, us while on the track to gold our target was to explore for new market because the uh, government of india has uh, permitted private sector to come in defense production so definitely for the domestic market uh, we are sure that some of our work share which earlier we have we have been getting on nomination basis would be shared by them so for us to sustain as a company we need to look for a customer beyond domestic market so accordingly we started in a very humble way and uh, after 23 months now our order book as per as export is concerned is over 4700 crores if i talk in india rupee stocks and against that this year during current financial year that is uh, 2324 we are planning to execute over 1000 crore physical issues to our uh, new customers when we come to this uh, exhibition uh, we have uh, expectations that uh, there are customers here there are countries here and there are companies here whom we can support in supply of various kinds of ammunition our target is twofold one is looking for the armed forces of various countries wherein we can supply fully formed ammunition and the second is looking for partnership with various companies across the globe whom uh, we can be their partner and we can be there in their supply chain maybe some of the explosives we can supply to them maybe some of the sub assemblies we can supply to them so our target is this two four and uh, in this we are expecting to have some good business during this exhibition also as we had during last Uh, Euro Saturday. So when we met at Euro Saturday last time, and uh, it's now a year plus, has there been a major change in your business strategies and uh, marketing strategies for the foreign market, or are we still following the strategies which were available through the erstwhile OFB days? Uh, no, there have been changes. Uh, our focus is now, as I told you, not only to supply the fully formed ammunition. but to supply certain components also certain explosives also in addition to this now we are getting into setting up manufacturing production line in various countries for their requirement for example uh, we are having advanced uh, dialogue in three countries where in small arms ammunition line production line is to be set up so that's a new area where we have started working in fact what we want to do is that erstwhile work we has given us a lot of knowledge lot of skill set we want to make use of all that in all the three areas making ammunition which we have been doing earlier also supply of various kinds of components and becoming the supply chain partner for various big companies across the globe and third is to set up manufacturing line for manufacture of various kinds of ammunition in their country and sir uh, when we talk of uh, you know having a good supply chain so do you have a supply chain within india or is your supply chain also outside india 
and uh, what are the sort of tie-ups you are having with private companies, both India and abroad? See, when I say supply chain, here I was mentioning that I would be supplying to a company, in, uh, uh, maybe a global company. So that is the uh, that is what I was talking about. Mm. Now, as far as supply to MIL is concerned, by anyone. So we are having a tie-up with some of the private companies also. Like for example, for one of the items, we are having a tie-up with LNT. We have uh, signed a teaming agreement with them. We are having a teaming agreement with HBL Life, who are working uh, uh, in various areas. Then uh, we have two or three more MSME companies who have developed certain items and uh, they are supplying to us. And then we are making finished product, finished ammunition out of it. In addition to this, we have had a tie-up with uh, one of the uh, startups in Pune and we are working for supply of drones, ammunition delivery drone and the drone which can fire certain ammunition. We are working with them and recently for uh, uh, one of the drones that is for supply of ammunition in uh, difficult areas, high terrains, our, ammunition, our drone has been evaluated by Indian Army and we are awaiting for their final response regarding the further course of action. Wonderful, sir. I think that is a real new thing you hear about from a company which is making traditionally ammunition. It's something wonderful. And sir, uh, you know, when we talk about these things, we also talk about one important factor when it comes to ammunition. We always feel that ammunition is a part of the three forces. But there is a very heavy police and homeland security requirement, which I'm sure you also must be having. So what is that requirement on India's front? And also, what about the polices of the other uh, countries who are your prospective clients, if there are any? Actually, uh, presently, uh, we are working as far as paramilitary forces or police forces are concerned. We are concentrating on uh, domestic market. We have in mind to go for uh, these kind of forces abroad but that is that we want to go in the next phase because opening so many friends at uh, one time we feel uh, that uh, first let us establish ourselves in this area and then go for that yes there is enough opportunity there also and uh, we would be maybe, maybe the second phase going for that. and sir you know since uh, munitions india became munitions india We've heard a lot of, uh, you know, people talking about the corporate uh, culture which has just suddenly come into it. So what is it? Why do people talk about it? What is it? Uh, what we have actually done is, uh, we wanted, uh, when the headquarter was uh, set up in Pune, we wanted that our headquarter should have an absolute corporate look. When I say corporate look, it means the working should be in a corporate form. The decision making should be faster. There should not be any bureaucratic uh, hurdle in decision making. There should not be so many layers in decision making. So that uh, we have uh, reduced substantially. And today, uh, in case if uh, there is a there is an officer under him only, there is one uh, hierarchy, one channel. That's that's it. There are not more uh, more than two channels at any stage for making any decision. The office which we have made uh, is, uh, there is no red light, green light, blue light, those concepts absolutely are not there in the chamber of any of the officers. It is, anybody can walk into their office, only they have to see that the officer is free, that's all. He's not holding a meeting. Everybody is free to just walk in, talk to the concern officer and get his problem resolved. We are trying to have minimum of the papers, minimum of the files. Practically a kind of an e-office we have introduced in our corporate setup and we are trying to have a very lean and thin office. Only those many people should be there, those are really required. And that has given us very rich dividends. Today in case if somebody sends me an email, it is absolutely mandatory on the part of everybody sitting there that if he receives it in an email, he has to respond it within 24 hours. And it has to be resolved within 48 hours. That is what the direction we have given. To a large extent, we have been able to successfully execute this. Maybe some uh, at some stage, we may not be able to maintain these timelines, but by and large, we are able to do that. So this is what, uh, as the feedback which I got, as you are also mentioning, uh, people are quite satisfied with the kind of a response. 
and promptness in decision making which is coming from America. And so we, uh, if coming from this point to another point, that uh, today's world has a culture of a PSU tying up with uh, you know private companies for manufacturing lines. Now you said you are planning a manufacturing line abroad. Now is there some joint venture which is in mind with some of the foreign companies uh, in your field where you can have a manufacturing line as well as a marketing office? Uh, presently, uh, what we have done is uh, in three countries we are working, and they are uh, we are not thinking of having any joint venture. We would be doing on our own. But uh, definitely, uh, this uh, point is there in our mind, and we are discussing with uh, some of the foreign companies uh, for uh, setting up similar kind of alliance in some other countries. And sir, uh, because we are here at DSCI, and the day one is getting over. How has the footprint been, sir? Oh. It has been wonderful. We have received a lot of people have come. There were a lot of inquiries. A lot of discussions have taken place. And I'm sure uh, when the exhibition, uh, you know, on the third day or fourth day of the exhibition, definitely I can say that uh, we have added some value to the company during these days. Wonderful, sir. And uh, we really wish and hope and pray that uh, you know every time we meet at a show. You really have lots and lots to tell me, which is in addition to what you told me at the last show. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.